Yo, what's up guys? What's happening? It is your boy. Welcome to another reaction. This one is from MJV Animations and it is called Homecoming, I believe. It has something to do with Homecoming. <laughs> now, I haven't reacted to MJV in a while. Now that I think of it. So, kind of excited with, you know, what this brings to the table. I don't really have much to say. So, uh, without further ado, you guys ready for this? Let go. When your guts tell you to get out, listen to it. Have you ever had someone you were close with change suddenly? Almost yep. as if they were a completely different person? Yep. That's exactly what happened to my parents when I got back from college last year from summer break. Okay. My parents were usually a bit distant, but they always made sure to keep in contact with me when I left for each semester. As we okay. were still pretty close otherwise. When it neared the end of that semester, they didn't call or message me as they usually did. It was weird, but nothing suspicious or out of the ordinary. Okay, so if you're used to that happening where they contact you and they don't do it that one time, I think you should probably hit them up, see how they're doing. You know, since they're your parents, they're obviously older. I mean, he didn't say the age they were, but... You know, anything can happen, you know? So, I mean, I'd say you check up on them. I assume that they probably just had a lot going on at work. That is, till I got home that summer. The front lawn was extremely overgrown and getting really dark and browning, which was something my father would rarely let happen. Mm -hmm. He was a gardener after all. He wouldn't be caught dead with an ugly, disgraceful lawn. On top of that, the potted flowers near the front door were all wilted and dying. Once I'd gotten inside my childhood home, it felt so off that it didn't even feel like it was my home at all. So much so that I leaned back out from the door to check the address once more, just in case. It was the right address, but it... Yeah, I saw how slick he is. MJV subscribe lane. <laughs> I see you, my boy. Didn't feel like it. It didn't feel as welcoming as it once did when I got home. There was no scent of lavender filling the air from mom's candles. She had lit almost 24-7. The once comforting and calm forest surroundings felt almost eerie. That's my lady right there. Haunting of my presence. My six-year-old tabby cat hadn't welcomed me the moment I opened the door. And neither had my parents. Mom? Dad? I shouted. I'm back. I shouted. Hoping for some sort of reply as my voice echoed throughout the seemingly empty house. The entire kitchen and living room was very neat. As if nobody really used anything. Or it was just a stage room used in a furniture store. For just a moment, a feeling deep within my gut telling me to leave began to radiate throughout my body. But Man. I quickly shoved it away. Nope. Nope. That's when you fucking up. That's when you should have paid attention to your gut. And dip. I, I haven't you guys heard a lot where they always say listen to your gut you should I mean you don't I don't think uh, unless I'm paranoid now watching all these videos I just think any little thing like I have to I'm like super cautious about I don't even like to since I sleep I sleep literally right next to a window like I always have to have it closed and before I even close my eyes I make sure the front door is locked and the back yeah, I don't know. These videos make me paranoid, but or that's how I always been. Who knows? But you gotta listen to your gut, cause if you don't, this is gonna happen. This was the home I grew up in. It was a safe place. At least a minute or two after I had called out to my parents, they both walked through the hallway towards the kitchen in unison. The instant I saw them, it caused me to jump out of my skin slightly. Why? As they hadn't made a single sound as they walked over. Usually I would hear the creaks within the floorboards or the scraping of my mother's wooden chair upstairs in her office. Once they saw me with my heart racing against my chest violently, they smiled at me. But it wasn't their usual sweet and caring ones. Yeah. It almost made me feel a weird, unsettling feeling. Almost like if you saw a random man smiling at you from an alley in the dark. In the Hold up. I was about to say, before the ad cut me off, I was about to say, shit, me too. Like, they ain't even my parents. They ain't even smiling at me. Ain't that freaked me out. I, I don't see how you still there, though. Just, it 
caused the gut feeling to simmer within me once more. We've been waiting for you, dear. My mother said in a sickly sweet voice that made me inwardly cringe. Yeah. My parents never called me nicknames. They always used my full name. My mother would never talk to me as if I were a child. Even when I was a child. All of it was unnerving and overloading my senses. It was too much for me to unpack and handle after a five hour trip from my college campus. Told them I was tired and just wanted to go rest for a bit. They hadn't even replied to my statement. From what I can recall, they simply stepped backwards to make room for me to walk past them. Their stare never faltering from me. Not even to blink. I felt their burning glare bore holes into my back as I made my way down the hallway. Hold up. If you're not used to them acting that way, just weird, how come you don't say anything? Like, hey, y'all okay? You good? You guys feel good? Anything wrong? Why is the house so clean? I would I would have had some questions, you know. Cause like if if your parents never acted that way and they never called you any nicknames and all of a sudden they changed, like you said, like if they're a completely different person, yeah, bro, I would have had some questions. I wouldn't. I'm, he said he was going back to his room. I would I would have went. I wouldn't back. I would have went back to wherever he said he was staying. Nah, bro. Stairs. I felt as if they were still on me, even when I wasn't around them in my. Cause home. they are. I was tired enough to just toss my luggage beside my bed, crawl under the covers, and pass out. Nope. Without another thought of how out of place everything felt. I woke up to complete darkness surrounding me. The only light came from the hall. As I tried my best to gain some semblance of sight within the dark, I sensed the scorching feeling of eyes burning into me. The moment I glanced towards my doorway, I almost leapt from my bed. As I started oh my, my God. Dark figure caught my eye standing in the corner of my room. Oh, hell no, bro. Maybe it was the darkness that made it all nah, so Nope. Maybe it was the fact that deep down, I knew the people in my room. <laughs> hell no. Nah. They just didn't have the same professional, yet caring aura that always radiated from within them. Instead, they felt hostile and dangerous. Bro. So it was almost like how you would feel if you fell into the cage of a predatory zoo animal. Hold on. That's not even their body silhouettes. Look, you seen the daddy was kind of like hunched over? Or am I tripping? I already forgot what he looked like. But I'm pretty sure that wasn't their silhouettes. Hell no, that dude, that guy, because I'm pretty sure the guy at the door, he's, he looks taller, more, you know, built. Not built, but just, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't look like the dad. You can't really see the mom, but she wasn't that slim. So, uh, let's see if it's them to begin with. I even laid there, letting the oddly heavy sounds of my parents breathing. Why are you still there to I begin with? I realized I had been holding my breath once I tried to speak. The sound that came out was simply just a gasp for air. But the moment it came from my mouth, a shadow in the corner of my eye, it stood in my room, again making its way towards me. Oh, nah. Its movements nope. were excruciatingly slow, causing the floorboards creak to dry out longer. Get up! Should you not be sleeping? Uh. Sure. Should you not be in here? Wait, no. Should you not not be in here? What are you doing in my room? Which I I, I highly doubt that's the mom now, cause she got red eyes. <sighs> my problem with the main characters: why are you still there? Why are you still there, my guy? I mean, I would have said you could have slept with like an object, you know, a bat or something. But as your parents, you didn't really think that way when you were on your way there. So you couldn't assume anything. I don't know. I don't know what precautions you could have taken. You could have not slept there to begin with. Just to top it off, you know, you should have just went back to your home when you, once you saw things were off. Nah. I would have been like, you know what? My semester's not over. I still got another week. Deuces. Hearing me smoke. It was my mother's voice. But it also wasn't. It was laced with some malintent and an overbearing sense of false sweetness. Midnight is waiting for you. We want to take you to her. So the uh, standing like stone in my doorway. You won't. Midnight was the name of my cat. 
the cat I hadn't seen once since I'd been home, which would have been one of the weirder things if it wasn't for my parents being more so. She was being a bad cat, so we had to punish her. Stated my father seriously. His words caused my heart to plummet. So they killed the cat. My stomach and his implication. Get rid of her. Growled my mother, a wicked grin slowly pulling the corners of her lips. Nah. Now you'll join her. Spat my father. Um. Began to lunge for me. His Yo. Wider than humanly possible. What the? I could easily fit inside it in one gulp. Not touching a single sharpened tooth that laid within his mouth. I quickly moved aside clumsily, knocking into the wall, hitting my head harshly. My action caused my father to fall onto my bed. Look at his mouth, bro. scream of rage. The sound was something that could make even the most hardened person's blood run ice cold. Y'all hear that sound effect? If y'all play Call of Duty, y'all know that's the zombie, <laughs> the zombie noise. I see you, my guy. Echoed in the small room and bounced off the walls. Rattled my that's just voice. creepy, though. It was enough to make me rush towards my mother, who now stood near the doorway, uh -oh. pushing her as hard as I could aside. Yeah, for she real. She wasn't expecting me to do such a thing, as she tumbled over into my dresser, causing everything to fall over with her. There you go. I pumped my legs with vigor as I ran down the stairs, fast enough for me to almost trip down them. The moment I reached the landing of the first floor, an almost unbearable scent consumed me. Once tense air, the smell was almost rotten, but it was even more disgusting and indescribable than that. When I thought back to when I came home, I didn't remember smelling anything close to that. It's your if cat. I, did, I would have easily remembered it, even if I didn't want to. I could hear both of my parents' footsteps heavily dragging against the floor. Run out! Above. They began talking in sync, their voices deep and wrapped in an utterly unsettling manner. We love you. Uh, nah. Come here, darling. Nope. They said together as they continued their way towards the stairs slowly. Their voices seemed to fill the entire house, bellowing against every wall no matter how far away they were. I just sprinted towards the door, their footsteps beckoning sharp creaks from the staircase, and their almost mocking voices continuing relentlessly. The moment I tried the door handle, I heard their footsteps quicken down the stairs. That's not where midnight is. <sighs> Low key, that kind of got me just a little bit. Just how they raise their voice up out of nowhere. Uh, a little bit though, not 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 much. It's not where midnight is. She's with us now, and you will be too. They shouted darkly uh, in unison. No, the fuck I won't. Their pounding footsteps taunting my ears cruelly. The door was locked. They locked the door and I didn't have a key. I never thought the old doorknob that needed a key to lock the outside and inside was stupid and odd until that moment. There was no way a stupidly made door was going to get me killed. As soon as the idea of just breaking through the window filled my mind, I felt my entire body being pushed with immense power across the room Why? and over the kitchen counter. The pain that filled me was intense. So intense enough to trick me into truly believing that I broke every bone within my small body. I could hear their laughs slamming against my ringing ears as they grew closer to me. I tried as hard as I could to break out of my pain-induced doze, slowly getting up to get my bearings, just to see how hard I had to fight and run to get to my escape. Hold up, my guy. I don't think he's mentioned it yet, but I really hope this is just a dream. And if it's not a dream, I hope it's fiction. Because if this shit was to really happen, I wouldn't be able to look at my parents the same. I mean, yeah, I mean, even, uh, even I, I, I don't have my parents around, but still, hell, nah. I wouldn't be able to look at them the same. Offered my mother. As soon as I locked her, I knew for sure she was She didn't have any eyeballs. The hunger that flowed within her dark eyes were impossible to miss. The way she looked at me like a new meal, she licked her lips. Yeah. Once they got close enough to me. Look at the dad's mouth, bro. I crawled a bit and then pushed myself up with all the strength I had left to race for my exit. Their horrific screams of anger filled my ears once again. Their feet slamming against the floor quickly now. I would have punched. Once I felt seething pain against my scalp, a feeling of vicious hands pulling at my hair. 
I kicked the assaulter behind me. The moment my foot made contact with their stomach, a manly grunt came from them, causing them to let go of my locks. There you go. Okay, leave. Chance, grabbing the stone statue of a horse that sat on the table beside the window, I smashed the statue against the oh. glass. Tossing it through as the pain That's shattered. another good thing. I didn't even think about the leftover glass shards still sticking out from the window. Yay! To myself through. I felt glass pierce the delicate skin against my feet and hands. I don't know why I just said yeet. I'm not. Well, I do say it once in a while, but. Yeah, hell no. Fuck no. Hey, this story is pretty intriguing. If I would that. I mean, I guess I can't blame him for that. That's That was a good idea. But I would have also grabbed the horse. And threw it at the freaking dad. But you know, breaking the window is smart too. I didn't care. I just ran. I ran as hard and as fast as I could, leaving my luggage and my car behind me. I didn't dare look behind me once as the ominous, corrupted sounds of my Dude, that shit's pretty cr even though the night's air. Even though I may have been extremely close with my family all my life. I never contacted them again. I called the police on I don't them, blame you. Mostly hoping that they would be able to get them the help they desperately needed to calm them down. But I'm not sure if the news I got from the police officers was comforting, upsetting, or just disgusting. I wouldn't blame you, bro. I wouldn't talk to them either. After that, I'm per look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would have been scared as shit. If I was to see my dad do that. Nope. Like I said, I would I would have probably Try to find an object to beat his ass. If not, he's going to catch these hands. But nah, I mean, I don't blame you. Not to contact them again. I would have done the same thing. Because once they entered my parents' home, they found both of them dead in the basement. They told me that it was estimated they had been there for over a month. Uh, once they told me the news, I knew for sure whoever those people were. Were not my parents. Yeah, I figured. It's been a year and I'm finishing my last semester of college. I still have nightmares and sometimes I even think I see them hiding in the trees when I'm taking Look at that. on hiking trails near campus. If you ever have a gut feeling that something is immensely off, listen to it. It knows better than you ever could. Or else you may not get the chance I did to escape the consequences. Bonus story with real footage. Oh. I thought that was it. I am a school resource officer in the city of Austin, Texas. Last year, my buddy and I were working graveyard shit. We got a call to the campus because an alarm had been triggered. My partner and I went to the campus. We went to a hallway where room 143 and 144 were located. Okay. After clearing the area... I told my buddy that I was going to the restroom and for him to wait for me. When I came out, my buddy signals with his hand to be quiet and listen. I noticed he had his gun drawn, so I drew mine too. I listened to the silence, and we both heard what sounded like shuffling, or something being dragged through the floor. I thought to myself, oh shoot. And I told my partner, there's someone here. We canvassed through the entire campus this time. And again, we saw nothing. Afterward, we came back to the same spot and I told my partner to head out. He agreed and stated, it's raccoons on the ceiling making the noises. Nah. They banged in the wall. And we quickly got a reply in the far distance with another bang. My partner and I headed out in a bit, in a hurry, since we knew that the campus was empty. That don't look like you're in a hurry, my guy. you literally just walking out. Hold up. I'm at work, so that's why I keep looking out. I lock myself in a garage. I'm good. Yeah, no, you don't look like you in a hurry, dude. You was taking your time. When we headed outside, we heard screeching on top of our heads. Clear screeching, but never could determine where it came from. When we got back onto our patrol car, we asked ourselves, who would know anything or the particulars about this campus? My partner mentioned that another officer I was very familiar with, he knew the history of the campus, so we called him since he was the only one on duty anyway. When we called the third officer, all we asked was, do you know about this campus? He said, oh yeah, it's haunted. 
The haunted area is between rooms 143 and 144. Oh, nice. Nice. Not you, you you didn't you didn't think you should have mentioned that when we went over there to, you know, to start our, our shift. You didn't t- I would have probably cursed that dude out. The dude on the phone. Like if I was this cop, I'd be like, "Oh, there you." Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> looked at each other in amazement. The third officer went on to say that he had a video of it. Without further ado, here's the video he provided. Keep in mind, when we received this video, everything was consistent with the noises we heard that night. And that video was uploaded by the third officer a year prior to this night. Y'all seen this? Oh, They're just roaming the halls. Look at that shit. How can y'all fake that? And they keep going back like it's... Yo, this... Sh- Bro, both of these stories were pretty damn good. <sighs> for an animation... I mean, the story's good, but for the animation, bro, this is... You just gotta give him a hand, bro. <laughs> the way he made the he animated the dad with the mouth. That shit was crazy. <sighs> I wasn't even expecting this bonus story. Cause I just seen it. it was just like a homecoming one. I thought it was gonna be like a dance, you know, the homecoming dance, which I'm pretty sure he would have titled that if it was about the dance. Now that I think about it. <clears throat> but no man, that that, that shit was good. That was good. I like this one. Yeah, man. All right, well, I don't have much to say. It's hot in here. I'm going to do another reaction after this. So you're going to see me, if anything, probably all week with the same outfit on. I might do some uh, reactions to NF. Um, prison sentencing. Like people who outlive their present sentencing. I I did a reaction to KSI and I was like, eh, it got it got partially blocked, and it wasn't even getting views. I mean, that's how all my videos are, but and it had a copyright. I'm not surprised, and I was like, ah, it's not worth it, so I deleted it. But yeah, man. Anyways, if you guys want to see more from MJV Animations, just let me know down in the comments. What you want me to react from him Or just anything in general That I haven't reacted to But yeah man if you guys like this reaction Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one Later